One of my favorite theorems in classical mechanics has to do with rigid body rotation. I've got a ping pong paddle here. It's got a shape much like you see here on the board. I've put a blue dot to indicate the center of mass of the ping pong paddle. And I've also drawn a side view of the paddle over here. I have indicated three Cartesian axes. We call these the principal axes of inertia. And I've simply labeled them one, two, and three. So what I mean is the one axis points along the paddle here. So any rotation about the one axis would be along this direction. The three axis is actually coming out of the board here. So any rotation about that axis would be like so. The paddle would be moving in this direction. The two axis that's coming out of the board in this picture would represent a rotation like so. So rotation about the two axis is in that direction. Moment of inertia is a property we use for extended objects, and it has to do with how the mass is distributed at some distance from a rotation axis. Without going into all the mathematical details, it turns out the moment of inertias, which we call principal moments of inertia for these axes that I've chosen, are ordered such that the moment of inertia for rotation about the one axis so this rotation axis is the smallest of the three, followed by the second axis, so rotation like that leads to this intermediate moment of inertia. And the largest moment of inertia is about the three axis, where the powder would be rotating like that. And the theorem that I really love from classical mechanics is that the smallest moment of inertia and the largest moment of inertia, those axes have stable rotations. So any rotation about the one axis or the three axis is stable. And what that means is if I rotate about the three axis, the rotation will continue. If I rotate about the one axis, the rotation continues. But the intermediate axis, about the two here, where the paddle would rotate like this, is unstable, meaning if I try to rotate the paddle like this, it will not repeat. In fact, there's no way I can do this with my hand, rotating the paddle and getting this motion to repeat. It starts tumbling out of that rotation pattern. So we have this wonderful theorem for a ping pong paddle that's really thin, it turns out the moment of inertia one and two, it's approximately the third moment of inertia. But in general, if you can order moments of inertia like this, the first and the third axis here lead to stable rotations. The intermediate, in our case the second axis, is an unstable rotation. You should try this at home with your remote control.